Hey there guys, this is Chainfire9001 here, and I am back with a Lunar Magic tutorial on Map 16 editing. I decided to redo this tutorial because Lunar Magic has changed a little bit, and the Map 16 editor has changed quite a lot. So, I'm doing this from scratch, basically. If you saw the old tutorial video, it's going to be exactly the same material, so, you know, you don't have to watch this one, but if you want to, you can. So, uh, map 16 is something that you can use to beautify your level, make it look pretty, and also to get around certain little functional issues that might come up when you're making your level. So, uh, let's go over here to direct map 16 access, and what you're seeing here in these pages are various tiles that make up objects in your level. So, there's a couple tiles here, and then they kind of just all these blank pages that go off and off into the great beyond. Um, but yeah, so these tiles make up things, make up objects. Some of them are themselves complete objects, like note blocks and, you know, the happy cloud. And then others are just parts of objects, like all these land tiles here. And that's part of a pipe, and what have you. So, uh, what we can do is uh, we can actually make our own tiles that use up these same graphics but in a different way so um, what I'm gonna do is this I'm gonna go up here in the toolbar there's a question block up here and if you click that it'll open this window called 16 by 16 tile map editor let's scroll up to the top here and uh, what you're seeing here uh, these pages correspond to these pages over here so this is the first page first page second page second page so they, they match up right one thing to note about the page numbers, you'll notice that the first page is page 0, the second page is page 1, the third page is page 2. That's something you see a lot in, you know, programming and computer science and related fields. Uh, basically the first, the index value of the first element of, you know, a list or something like that will be 0 instead of 1, so just have that in mind. And also, we are dealing with hexadecimal numbers, so if you see things like, you know, letters inside numbers, that's normal. It's base 16, so, yeah. Anyway, so, uh, this, this tile map editor window is quite a lot different from the tile map editor that Lunar Magic used to have. So, uh, really quickly, the buttons on top here, uh, this is just, it reloads the map 16 data from the ROM, uh, so, if you haven't, it'll discard any changes you made since you last saved it, so whatever. The button next to it is a save button. We haven't done any changes yet, so that's uh, grayed out. There's an undo and a redo. And then there's a... Uh, this button here will let you switch to 8x8 editing mode. We'll get into what that is. Uh, this is also for 8x8 stuff, but don't worry too much about that. Next button is a button that I like a lot. It's the zoom button. Yay, everything is bigger. Thank you, whoever designed Lunar Magic, because this makes things a lot easier to work with. Yay. So I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it like this for the remainder of the video. Uh the rest of these let's not bother with the rest of these. Uh these last four here are for importing and exporting uh map sixteen data from this ROM, but Again, we're not going to deal with any of that. Uh, let's see. These pay these buttons here, uh, you can figure out what they do on, on their own. They, the little pop-up things. We're not going to deal with those. All right. So everything else down here is specific to a tile. So let's select a tile. Like, I don't know, let's select the vine tile. What you'll see is uh, flip X and flip Y. Basically, this lets you, this lets you uh, make mirror images of the tile. So you see the vine uh, mirroring itself vertically horizontally depending on which button I press so that can be useful palette lets you change its color so I'm changing its color you'll notice that the change I'm doing here also shows up over here in the add objects window see that tile is no longer that vine is no longer green uh, which what was the there that's the normal okay Priority, uh, this is layer priority. I haven't done anything with that. I think it just determines whether it shows up in front of or behind sprites. Maybe. Anyway, 
I'm not going to do anything with that, so it doesn't matter. These four fields here are... These are the numbers of the individual tiles that make up the vine tile. Uh, this is a 16 by 16 tile, and each 16 by 16 tile is made up of four 8 by 8 tiles, and these are their tile numbers. So you can actually edit these individually. And then this thing here, it says act as 6. Well, 6 is the vine. Uh, this lets you change the behavior of, of, a, of a tile. So 6 is the vine, so if I make a custom block or, or a new map 16 thing and I say act as 6, it's going to act like a vine tile, so I'll be able to climb it. Um, very common things are, let's see, 5 is mud or lava, 2-5 is a, uh, a blank tile, completely blank tile, Mario can pass through it, it's basically all the empty space becomes 2-5. Uh, 1-2-F is black muncher plants, 1-3-0 uh, is gray cement blocks, and so on. So this lets you change the behavior of your custom tiles, which is what we're going to do. We're going to make custom tiles because we need them for any number of things. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's take a look up here. I've got sort of the beginnings of a level here, and uh, one common thing that people like to do is make... Uh, munchers that go on the ceiling. So here are some munchers on a ceiling, but they're obviously kind of not the way I want them. So what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to highlight this muncher plant here. And obviously what we're going to end up doing is flipping Y, do, uh, doing a flip Y. Now if I do it right now, you'll see that this muncher has flipped Y, and so have these. But now I don't have the normal muncher anymore, so let's let's undo that. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to go down to the fourth page, which is page number three, but it's the fourth page. I'm skipping a page. I forgot what the reason for that is, but you're supposed to leave that first blank page alone, so don't do anything to it. Go to the next one. So I highlighted the muncher and I'm going to right click to paste a new one. So now I've got a, a copy of the muncher tile. All I'm going to do is hit flip Y, and there we go. So uh, if we go down here in the object window, you'll see that it's there. We can use it right away. Uh, since I'm planning to use upside down munchers a lot in my hack, I'm probably just going to save that just so that it you know, doesn't accidentally get discarded. And then we can just copy this in like we normally do. There you go. Upside down munchers. What else can we do? Well, uh, let's do something... Uh, Let's say that I've inserted a custom block in my level, and I'm not going to discuss right now how to insert custom blocks, because it's not really something I do a lot, but anyway, let's say I have a custom block and I need some kind of graphics for it uh, just as a placeholder. Like, I, I want to make custom graphics, but I don't have that yet, but I just need something so that I know it's a custom block. So let's take a Switch Palace tile, we'll copy it on this page, and let's change its color to something else, like uh, da, 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 da. what have we got here? Let's go with gray. So now we have a gray switch palace block, so we can stick that in our level. Uh, however, this block here is going to behave like whichever switch palace block it originally was, because I haven't changed this value yet. Normally, when you insert a custom block, there'll be something telling you what to put in this box here what to make it act like. So I'm going to make it act like tile 2-5, which is again that blank tile that the game uses to fill in empty space. Mario can pass through it and so on and so forth. So it's just an empty tile, but it has some graphics. So it does nothing really. And since I did that here, I don't have to reinsert a new block from my add objects window. The, cha the change will affect this block that already exists. So we don't have to do anything there. Uh, what else can we do? One thing that I had a problem with when I you know, made my first level or two is these uh, purple wall triangles. If you hover your mouse over it, it says requires tile 1EB underneath it to work properly. And that's why it's two tiles high. This is again one of those things where inserting directly from map 16 is kind of a... Uh, uh, it bites you in the butt. 
Like if I, if I had just inserted the triangle by itself, it wouldn't work properly. Now the issue is this. I have this rope here, and ideally I'd like to do that and have the rope underneath that so that it looks the same. The problem is by doing this, I've overwritten tile 1EB, and now my triangle does not work properly. So we're going to undo this. Uh, the fix for this is pretty simple. You probably already guessed what it is. What I'm going to do is, in this uh, editor, I'll grab the rope tile, copy it, and then I'm going to change its behavior. I'm going to type 1EB, hit save. So now I've got this tile, which I can paste underneath my triangle, and my triangle will work properly, and it looks like I've got rope underneath it. So problem solved. Let's see, what else can we do here? Uh, if you want to make... Right now I've got these um, cement blocks here. Let's say I want to make some land tiles here, and I want them to be one tile height, like this. So over here, this is a, a normal ledge tile, and then here's sort of an upside down ceiling tile. And if I were to put one on top of the other, it would be two tiles. But let's say I want to make it one tile instead. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top half of this guy and the bottom half of this guy and make a combination of a floor and a ceiling in one tile. So if you look at this tile here, it uh, the top is tiles 182 and 183. And incidentally, those are the same tiles used on the bottom here for uh, the ceiling tile. So basically what I'm going to do is take this, copy it over here, and I'm just going to change these two numbers down here. So 182 and 183. So you'll see there's a little issue there. These, The bottom half should be flipped over. So what we do is you click this button here. It says 8 by 8 editing mode. Now I can select just that tile and flip Y. And I can select just this tile and flip Y. And there we go. So now we've got that. However, there's one more thing we have to do, so I'm going to get back into regular editing mode. I need to make it behave like something. So 100 is a ledge tile, which means Mario can jump through it from the bottom. Well, since I want this to be kind of a combination floor and ceiling, I want him to bonk his head on that. So I think the best thing to do is put 130, which is again the gray cement block, and that way Mario will never go through it. So now we have this, we can put it in here, and go like that. And I went ahead and did uh, two more for kind of the ends there. And again, you just have to find the proper tile and just copy the numbers over, flip them over, and there you go. So there we have it. We have kind of this thin land, as it were. And that's pretty much the kind of stuff you can do. Uh, you can play around a lot and make crazy looking crazy looking junk like I can take this and then with the 8x8 editor I can you know change its colors like I can do something like this and I do that and then do this now I've got this block that uh, looks like a switch palace block but it's all multicolored and crazy and really really cool looking so I don't know maybe you can find a use for that do something do something with it but yeah so that's map 16 editing again this is very useful for you know, little minor graphical issues and sometimes functional issues and yeah so hope this is helpful hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time